हेलो एवरी वन टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस नो वॉट इज इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ मीन्स एवरी पर्सन इन सोसाइटी शेयर्स द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ दिस इज अकम्पलिश बाई प्रोवाइडिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर द वीकर सेक्शंस ऑफ सोसाइटी टू पार्टिसिपेट इन एंड कंट्रीब्यूट टू इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ दिस मेक श्योर दैट द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इज फोकस्ड ऑन इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग अंडर प्रिविलेज एंड marginalized group in the expansion of economy rather than just increasing gdp or benefiting a selected few now let us see what is the importance of inclusive growth inclusive growth aims to reduce inequality of income and wealth in the population less inequality means more people have access to equal opportunities in the country secondly it focuses on providing equal education health care and employment opportunities to disadvantaged section of society it helps in bringing out people from poverty inclusive growth makes sure that everyone gets equal opportunities to contribute to the economy this helps in creating a society where everyone feels valued and equal to everyone else Inclusive growth helps take advantage of the full potential of the working age population of a country. It increases the standard of living of the people living in the country. When the number of people who contribute to the economic growth of an economy increases, the economy becomes more resilient to shocks and recession. Now let us understand what is the situation in India. As per the Global Multidimensional Poverty Index 2022 by the United Nations Development Program, India has made progress in bringing 415 million people out of poverty in the last 15 years. Access to education has increased with the help of large investment from the government to provide free and compulsory education for children through the Right to Education Act and Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. Due to government initiatives like Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, financial inclusion has improved in the country, and today a significant section of the rural population has access to bank account and financial services like insurance and credit from banks. The expansion of financial inclusion has also made it possible for the disadvantaged and poor to receive government assistance and benefits. straight into their bank accounts through the direct benefit transfer program protecting them from fraud corruption and delay in the delivery of payments infrastructure and connectivity between rural and urban areas have improved making it easier for people to avail facilities like healthcare and education and also creating new livelihood opportunities now let us look what are the challenges Increasing income inequality in India is resulting in the concentration of large amount of resources in the hands of a few individuals. This decreases the opportunities available to the majority of the masses. Lack of affordable education for poor families, especially for higher education. The education system is still not emphasizing teaching students the skills that employers are looking for. bridging the skill gap is the most pressing need solving the unemployment crisis is one of the most important challenge the high cost of healthcare facilities make it difficult for poor people to avail advanced healthcare in india providing affordable healthcare for all health issues is a big challenge India continues to have a high level of corruption in numerous areas including job market and infrastructure development all these issues make it difficult for disadvantaged individuals and households to get out of poverty and also make the people who come out of poverty more vulnerable to falling back into it even after getting support from the government Overall due to our large population it is challenging to achieve inclusive growth in a short time but it is very important for us to keep working towards achieving it so that india can start to utilize its demographic dividend which will end by around 
it is not possible for india to meet its growth target such as becoming a developed country by the year 2047 unless every citizen receives the benefit of the country's growth thank you for watching comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this